Hello, welcome to the first in a series of Capture the Flag exercises. Um, to, to carry out these exercises, we'll need to start off with, with two virtual machines and we need to configure them to work in, a, in an environment. So the first one we'll need is Metasploitable. Um, that's a machine that's got lots of exploits so that we can test um, and find what they are. And you'll need to enter your details in the download now area and then that'll download a virtual machine for you that has been zipped up. And then the other one is uh, Kali Linux. Kali Linux is, has all the software that we need to carry out exploits on vulnerable machines. So go to Kali.org and uh, Kali Linux 32-bit will give us um, the graphical user interface. You'll need to download those. Then once downloaded, they'll be in a zip file expand the zip file and you will end up with the, all your virtual machines or, or you, it'll end up in the virtual machine state so then we can just run that virtual machine and all we need to do then is give it an IP address so um, once that's done you'll p f uh, power up your machines and we've got Kali Linux and Metasploit um, for both machines for Metasploit I've given it one gig of RAM and I've set the network adapter to host only and for Kali I've set it to two gig of RAM and again network adapter host only we may need to change these as exercises develop but we'll come to that when we need to so when Kali's booted up it's the default password which is the username is root and the password is back is T double or or root backwards and then that will log us in and one of the first things we're going to need to do once logged in is give this an IP address so at the top um, it'll depend what version of Kali you're using but along the top here somewhere there'll be um, an icon that represents the network so if I right click when I do edit connections and I go to wired connection and double click um, and go to IP version 4 and you'll see it's set to automatic so I'll change it to manual um, I'll delete what's already in there um, so I'll change it from DHCP to manual and then I click the add and I'm putting 192.168.1.10 the net mask 255 2550 and the gateway 192.168.1.1 and once once I'm happy with that I can click save and then once done I can open the console here and if config and you see it's, it's put the address in 192.168.1.10 on occasions it just doesn't seem to change to what we changed it to so in those instances let's have a look if I change the settings just to show you if I change it to 12 and I go to IF config you see it's still showing as 10 so disconnect your ethernet and then connect again and you see that it's changed so I'll just change mine I'll just change mine back again so that's IP version 4 I'll change it to 10 Click save. The state is sticking at 12, so all I need to do is disconnect it. And then just to connect it, you just pick wired one and put it back on. And you'll see that it's changed it to 10. So that's the process of adding or changing and updating IP addresses on the Kali Linux machine. So now we go to Metasploit 
and it's msf admins the password so that'll be msf admin and msf admin and then to put the ip address in it will be sudo if config and then it's ethernet zero and then 192.168.1.11 and netmask it's kind of similar to working on a cisco router netmask 255 255 2550 we hit enter and if i type in ifconfig again it'll show it's changed the address to 192.168.1.11 sometimes um when we've typed the command in it will ask us to enter our msf admin password again but in this particular instance it didn't so we've changed the ip ranges so if i press Control alt to skip out of this if i go back to Kali linux now and do ping oh, get into the console ping 192.168.1.11 you see that it's pinging so that means we've completed the first part of our exercise which is configuring the two machines so that they can talk to each other so if i press Control c now uh, i can can i can stop that from pinging so this means now that we've got two machines that are talking to each other so we're now in a good state to start um testing out the exploits so that's lesson one in getting things up and running. I'll put the links in the description and I'll see you for the next session where we start to carry out some of the exploits. Thank you.